TPRR in Roblox just got a brand new, pretty big update. This update is themed after Poppy Playtime. It includes new animatronics, Toggled Mouth. I don't understand it anymore. You're terrifying. A new location. This looks insane. And a bunch more stuff. So in this video, I am very excited to show you all of it. But first things first, we got to go over and buy the animatronics from Old Man Consequences himself. So for this one, we want to go over to him. And here, all of the new ones are underneath them. So let's go ahead and buy all of them. They all do cost tickets. So make sure you are doing the daily tasks. Make sure you're doing all of the achievements. And you will probably have enough. So let's just go through and buy every single one. And I will see you. I'm going to go in the security breach map to show you the new section of the map. So I will see you there. All right, so when you get to the security breach map, the new area in the map is actually, if you want to go ahead and open this thing here, the Atlas. Oh, stay in place. The new area of the map is directly north of the lobby where you are now. It'll have a little number there. If you go directly north, you'll see the Atrium. And then you will see the Parts and Service directly above that. So all you have to do is click on it, then click go. And of course, wait for it to load in. And then eventually you will be in the brand new area. This looks insane. It's so cool. Can I actually do this? Here you go. The whole area. Let's see what other... Can we go back here? Can I go in the doors? Oh, you actually can. Oh, where am I? Oh, we got to wait for this loaded. Hold on. Oh, it leads you right back here. Very nice. Straight back to Rockstar Row. That's how you can access it in the game. And then you can teleport back down. That is so cool. Very, very nice. So, now that we've seen the new area. Also, I forgot to mention, there is new stuff added to the build mode as well. So, if build mode is part of your favorite part of the game, make sure you check that out too. So, the moment we've all been waiting for, let's go check out some of these new animatronics. So, I guess we're starting off with the very similar to Huggy Wuggy Playtime Attendant. What? This guy is cool, I guess. Alright, well, he sounds cool to me. Let's go. Oh, let's remove the head. He's so tall. So, when you jump with him, he kind of flies... He flaps his arms and he flies a little bit. Uh, let's go back down here. We have a replaced part toggled mouth. That's so weird. Why is he smiling like that? Uh, we have a sprint. We have a transform to daytime. Oh, that is awesome. He has a daytime and a nighttime. That is so cool. In when I played Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, I said... Part of that would be perfect for the sun and moon drop from this game. I said it, and now it became true. You can teleport to your stage. You could use the wire to fly like this, of course. And you could transform back into nighttime, who I think is just terrifying. That is amazing. Very, very cool. Look at him. What kind of sounds do we have? Very nice. I probably shouldn't have played two at once. But he does have all the sound lines of uh, the night care attendant. Or moon drop or whatever you want to call him. So here's Spiteful Baby. She kind of has the Dr. Octopus suit going on back here. Uh, what is all this? She has so many abilities. So first we have Restore. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. Just a normal mascot suit. Uh, so then we have a sprint for this suit. That looks so funny. That animation is so good. We have a toggle eyes. Oh. Just look around creepily. We have face plates. What's in there? Oh, is that where someone could sit? That's really... Oh, that's where the person wearing the suit sits. I get it. We could close the chest. Enable enterable torso. 
Oh no, we can spring lock it. It's a spring lock suit. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. And then, of course, after that, we could just transform back. And there we go. Uh, we could stand up. Oh, I'm moving on my own. I'm not touching any keys. Stop moving. I'm scared. Oh, there we go. Everything's back to normal. We have spawn tentacles. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We have face plates as well. Oh. Oh, there's more hands in there. What is this creature? What is it? There's too many hands. There's there's too many tentacles. There's too many. There's too much. I don't know what this is. Is that Simon Says in there? Got Simon Says. It's just it. I don't understand it anymore. Also, that smile is so creepy. That's that's scary. This is too scary for me. So on the list, it did have this animatronic, spiteful spring trap, I believe. Uh, I could have sworn we checked this out before, but I don't remember it being called Spiteful. Uh, so, I'm not too sure what's different about it. So, let's check it out again. Uh, we do have a Toggle Particle. And we can Spring Lock this as well. But, we do have a Transform. Uh, and then we can Transform into something else after we're Purple Guy. Oh, we're back to this thing. Oh, maybe that's what they added. Because I think before you couldn't switch back into it and you were stuck as purple guy. Unless I'm remembering wrong, I'm not sure. Either way, any excuse to become this awesome thing again. Scary. Looks like a Resident Evil zombie. We're still not done with the spiteful animatronics though because we have spiteful Freddy next. It's just a giant terrifying spider. Kinda has like a needle on its back or a syringe. Oh, it is just a giant syringe. Oh, you're terrifying. I'm, I'm sorry, but you're just terrifying. We have face plates. We can do a player scan. And then this can wire. Oh, no. I don't like spiders, everyone. The Spider-Man is the only spider that gets a pass. This one does not. This is so creepy. I mean, it's cooler than normal spiders. No offense, normal spiders. But look at this. It's just floating around. Ah. Oh, man, this is so cool, though. I really like these animatronics a lot. I know I say it every update, but these ones are just really creepy. Oh, this one teleported us to a different part of the map. This one is the admin staff bot. This one has a bunch of abilities. We have toggle tentacles. Oh, that's not what I thought was going to happen. That's awesome. Look at that. We have a hammer. We have a claw. We have a, a drill. And then we have a saw. I don't know what all those things are for, but we have a uh, toggle visor. Oh, look at that. You got eyes. We have a player scan and a sprint. Not when I shifted to maximum overdrive. What's this? Oh, it's phaser blast. So the map is getting pretty complete now. I don't think they have too many areas to go. Uh, oh, I think the elevator brings you down now. I got to look. I gotta go look. Oh, it works. It works. The elevator works. This is it. This this is it's beautiful. It's just so beautiful. What happens if I go down here? Do I die? Go up. Oh no. Please let me out. Let me out. I have to continue the video, please. Get me out of jail, please. Someone help. Oh, I made a mistake. Desolate Hector. So they went and remade one of their original animatronics from one of their past events. And he looks way scarier now. Oh, look at him. What is he made out of? Oh, he's got an alarm clock in there. But now he's terrifying. He almost looks like Stitch Wraith a little bit. But he still has the little the Hector parts down here, it looks like. But the rest of them... He's just terrifying. We have Toggle Eye. Oh, he's got to keep the red eye. Toggle Agony. Oh, is that like the smoke coming off of him? Oh, it is. We can sprint, of course, too. Because why not? Toggle Arm Suit. Wait, what did that change? I got to look again. I got to look closer. Oh, I can see it. I do like it better with this, I think. Yeah, it makes him look more pieced together, you know? And then we can suit up. Uh, uncloaked. Oh, 
He looks less scary like this, I think. Actually, I don't know. I like his hat. He's got a nice little top hat on. He's a good boy. That's not a top hat. I don't know. And then you can put the cloak back on. You can't even tell he's wearing a hat. Oh, wait, you can. There's like a little bump there. Oh, they thought of everything. These are so terrifying. Just the names alone. The Deceit Bringer. Scan the area. We could... Oh. Oh. Turn into me for a second. Why does he look so tiny? All right. I'm back as the Deceit Bringer. I hit the same button I hit before. Wait. Before I... Oh, here we go. We could decapitate him. We can toggle the arm. And then we can become infested. Of course, I'm infested. That's what it means. Uh, we have a sprint. I like how it, it makes running sounds like it has shoes on. And then we can burrow as well. Uh, because why not? Oh. Oh, no. What happened to it? What's it doing down there? Get out of there. Oh, no. It's the pieces just sticking out. That's so sad. I felt like the next one was only appropriate to check out in his own restaurant. It shattered El Chip. He finally got shattered. The whole right side of his body got torn apart by something. It's like he was in the grinder at the end of Poppy Playtime. Uh, spoiler, I think. But anyway, we could play instrument. Oh, I thought he would have pulled out the guitar. Oh no. Wait, what in the world? Uh, stop playing the guitar now. Uh, so you can toggle the sombrero, which looks great here. But, uh, if you look over here, it doesn't look as good. Uh, so we're not going to look that way. We're only going to look right here. We're going to pretend the sombrero's gone. And we're going to put it back to, uh, cover that up. Oh, I see. The, uh, the smudges got left on. But no big deal. It's an easy fix. And there you go, they're shattered, L Chip. He finally has a restaurant, but at what cost? What did it cost, L Chip? Everything. Oh, and don't think we're done shattering animatronics yet because we have Shattered Security Puppet up next. And uh, it looks a little shattered to me. Its face is so cool. With like all the, the motherboards, the, the chips, the, the computerized stuff back there. We have a toggle eyes. We can turn the green off. We have a transform, which I will do last. We have a sprint and a player scan. Oh, so I will do it. We can transform. Oh, it's just security puppet. Why does he walk like that? Looks like he's dragging himself on the air. It's a little weird. Uh, but pretty much the same abilities, but you can burrow yourself in the box. Oh, I didn't even realize it was night. Whoops. And then you can transform yourself again. Uh, yes. Hey, there. Oh. Who am I? Wait. Wait a second. I just bought someone I didn't even have. Who is this? Who am I? Toggle sparks? Suit up? I'm a little confused. I don't think I know who this is anymore. Oh, you're changing the eye color. I see. What in the world? What character is this? Oh, no. That doesn't look good. What happened to you? Oh, his eyes are out. Oh, he's got the sparks. I see him. He's damaged. I mean, if you just push the eyeballs back in and, like, stop the sparks, I'm sure he'll be fine. What does this do? Oh, then that turns you back into him. Okay. It all makes sense now. This one is called Hoarded Funtime Freddy. I'm not sure what that means. I did not read the description, but it sounds cool. It definitely looks like it's from the fourth closet book. But we do have face plates. Very nice. We have t uh, chest plates. Oh, look, you can climb in there. Honorable torso. Effect list. Uh, what? I don't know what that means. Boil? Spark? I don't know what these mean. What is... I mean, I hear it happening, but... Why? Oh, it's saying... Pick a suit? Oh, I want the... I want the boiling suit. Yeah, you know what? I gotta have the boiling suit. That makes perfect sense. There we go. 
Now he's boiling some stew, some beans in there. Nice. Oh, it just makes that sound? Oh, that's awesome. That's actually really cool. What is that? What am I boiling in there? So now I am just going by the way the list is in order. So I went through these and these and those two. Now I think the list ends with this foxy here. So we're going to go with Jolly next. I've seen so many different versions of Jolly. I've seen like red and yellow ones, red and white, blue and white. Uh, so I don't know which version is which anymore. Maybe they're like all the different versions of Freddy. Who knows? But we do have a toggle for face plates. Oh, just his eyes. And then we have an eye flash as well. Oh, I've been forgetting checking out the sounds on everyone. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry. Whoops. And then we have George, who is one of the cat mascots at Jolly's, which only has an eye flash, which is fine. Oh, it looks like it's missing a lot. It looks a little basic. I feel bad. I mean, that's probably how it was designed in Jolly's. But look, it doesn't even have a back of its head. This poor animatronic. It deserves better. Jollies, come on. Be better, Jollies. Oh, not OCs. That actually looks like one of my OCs. I mean, compared to like... Wait, no, that's not one. What about this? Yeah, that's what I made, Huggy Wuggy. That's what it looked like. And that's Poppy. That's that's not Willy Weasel. Tell me you guys didn't allow me to make Willy Weasel and make him look like this. Next up is Tweety, who I assume is also from Jollies. I did not read the description this time. This one has face plates and an eye flash as well. I do like how the endo goes back to being basic like FNAF 1. Very nice retro look we got going here. Very simple, solid design. I like it. And then the sounds are just a jump scare. And animations are the R15 ones. Oh, jeez. It would be really cool if the head just flew off after a little bit. And just, you didn't have a head for the rest of the game. And here is Maxi. The second of the two cat mascots in Jollies. Again, with the same abilities as the other ones. A sprint and an eye flash. Nothing really crazy going on. Basically the same model, give or take, as the other cat. It's still missing the back of its head. It does have a nice little stripe pattern, though. And now we have a restored Fredbear. So we have a exit spring lock first. We go back to being purple guy. And then all we could really do is either play as a human or transform back. Why is he sprinting like that? He's running. And then we have a transform into canon version. And now we pretty much go down the rabbit hole of getting a bunch of different abilities and being confused and lost. We could pick suit, go to UCN Fredbear. Uh, we can spring lock him. But anyway, here we have toggle eyes and we have a spring lock as well. And there it goes. So I'm pretty sure Murder Robot has been in the game before. So this has to have been like another, a new update or something. Uh, I don't know what it was. It definitely looks a little bit more terrifying. Uh, we, maybe the knife? The knife does look a bit more red and larger than it did before. So maybe it's that. But I don't really remember. So we can take the mask off if we want. Yeah, I don't think he's really throwing a punch there. But uh, we'll call it a punch. Then we can put the mask back on. And there you go. So if you know what's updated about this character, let me know in the comments. I think it's the knife. But uh, I could be wrong. Stare into this concrete mask. Now we are ending the near of the list. Now we're nearing the end of this list with only three more animatronics to go. The third to the last one is called Blue Suit. I don't really know what this is. I should have read the paragraph that goes along with it, but we can toggle jaw. Just rip the jaw off entirely. That's good. We could transform. <gasps> it was me. I was in the blue suit without my helmet, of course, and any of my other items that are now for sale. Sorry. Uh, sorry. And then we can transform back into it, and we can spring lock the blue suit as well. Because why not? Because we can just spring lock everybody in this game. Let's go ahead. Spring lock the blue suit. A blue leftover spring lock suit featured in the silver eyes. Okay, well that makes sense. And now we have Phantom Freddy, but as FNAF 1 Freddy, because Steel Wool didn't have the Withers initially. V. 
VR Phantom Freddy. All right, well, here we go. We have a phase. Oh, he's got like the neon green endoskeleton made of ectoplasm. And we could transform into the original version right here. Oh, that is still such a classic though. You can't go wrong with classic Phantom Freddy. You just can't do it. You can replace part. Oh, I can put his leg back on. But I mean, why would you? Why would you though? And then you can transform into the VR version as well. Original version is so good though. It's so good. Look at it. It's like the texture of a watermelon. It's great. And then of course they did the same thing to VR Phantom Foxy. We have a phase. You can see the endo. We have a sprint. And we have a transform too. And of course, original Phantom Foxy definitely beats that one out by a mile. So there you go. That is it for all the new animatronics and the new part of the map. They're getting very close to finishing Security Breach. I think there's only a small amount of areas left. Just the underground, the tunnel, I think. I'm not even sure. I don't know how many areas are left of the map. But they definitely have to be getting close to done. But again, that is going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed and use star code Gallant whenever you're buying Robux or Premium. Uh, and, you know, I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!